in this video i will explain how to do the i end of knuckle joint here we can see this is the front view of knuckle joint and this is the top view of knuckle joint in previous video i have explained you how to do the fork end of the knuckle joint and today now i will explain you how to do the i end of the knuckle joint in front view it looks in this way in the top view it looks like this dimensions are as follows here you can see the dimensions i have taken diameter of the shaft as 30 mm for 30 mm diameter these are the parameters we can see here let's start open solidworks open part file so this is your graphics area now let's start with the front plane by using front plane we have to draw this part okay now i am going to draw only this part then we are going to mirror this part and we are going to protrusion or extrude select sketching select front plane take line command from this origin point draw an horizontal line of length l of length capital l capital l is 120 mm enter 120 angle minus 180 enter select zoom to fit command next this is s1 you can see this is the s1 so this is 33 mm draw one vertical line of 33 divided by 2 right click and end the command again from this origin point starting point draw one vertical line of dimension height of f f divided by 2 here f is 45 mm make it as 45 divided by 2 enter angle 90 degrees enter next draw one horizontal line of here from top view we can see this length is capital D that is 60 mm ok so we are going to draw only half of the diameter so that is 60 divided by 2 enter 60 divided by 2 enter draw one horizontal line right click from this end point draw with horizontal line up to this vertical line it has to coincide this vertical line next take a trim command and trim this vertical line now by using mirror command we are going to we are going to copy remaining of sketch select here from drop down menu select mirror command select the entire sketch this is the starting point and this is the origin point reference give the reference so it has been copied now again select a trim command trim this 
line click twice now select return and finish now extrude select extrude command isometric view from the top view we can see width is S1 S1 is 33 mm select the sketch accept select symmetric extrude symmetric extent distance 33 mm and click ok this is our sketch next select this top face select circle from this exact center point draw one circle of diameter capital D capital D is 60 mm enter 60 mm right click or escape now select control I control I is isometric view now select extrude select the sketch accept towards downside okay in front view we can see we have to extend up to this point that is a distance of f resistance at f f is 45 mm enter 45 Okay, next again select sketch. This is the top face. Okay, select the top face circle. Just touch this circle, we will get the center point. Draw one circle of diameter D1. Okay, D1 diameter is 30 mm enter 30 mm enter ok escape select cutout command select the sketch select cutout accept throughwards down here I will select the command through all Okay. Next, select. Say this is the front view. This is the right side view. Select right face. Select Control R right view. Take a rectangle command from this corner. enter width, width as 33 mm height as again 33 mm because it is a square angle enter now select rotate command select the sketch from exact center point click on the center point and diagonal point rotate it ok so we got here two sketches now select trim command observe carefully select trim command and trim this corners ok again same repeat it in all the four directions the sketch should be in this way ok on to the corners next select extrude 
cut, cut out, select the sketch, all four sketches, select all four, all four sketches, accept, enter the small L, small L is 45 mm, here we can see small L is 45 mm, enter 45 enter okay next again select right face control r is shortcut for right view select circle by point from the exact center point Draw on circle circle of diameter that is D D is thirty mm. Enter 30 mm. Extrude. Select the sketch. Distance is 30 mm. Accept. Okay. Next. This completes almost this completes your eye now let us give the round finishing fillets that is called as fillets here select round command select the edges and I have given as 6.5 mm all the four sides okay enter next again select round select this face make it as 4 mm okay make it as 6 mm round enter 6 Select the corner under 6 mm on both the sides. Next, again select round, select these corners, means these edges, make it as 18 mm. This edge is as 18 mm. So, this is your eye end. file save save as i end okay save it